Half a million people have already voted in Ohio, a majority coming from absentee ballots. New state data shows a majority of ballot returns are coming from voters who are 65 years of age and older, and the lowest amount being from voters 18 to 24. We decided to look into Generation Z, our youngest voters, to see their role coming up this November. Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow went to Kent State University to hear how college students are preparing for this election. For many Gen Z students, this is their first time voting in a presidential election. And they told us they're ready to have their voices heard. Make a difference on the issues that matter to us. So. Generation Z. Pew Research defines it as people born from 1997 through 2012. The Zoomers grew up in the age of the Internet, but they also experienced the 2008 recession, rapid climate change, and a rise in school violence. And those events shaped the way Kent State senior Zach Graves views politics. We grew up with school shootings as a daily, weekly, monthly occurrence um, in our generation across the country. So um, I'm looking for someone that, that is passionate about that and passionate about creating change on the issue. He's one of the more than 1,125,000 Gen Z voters in Ohio, or roughly 15% of the total voters in the state. Kent, like many college campuses, is a more liberal bubble inside Republican-leaning Portage County. Portage is known as a pivot county, voting for both Republicans and Democrats over the decades. But each of the students told us that it's the social causes driving them to the polls. Abortion, and I just think it should be a woman's choice. As an LGBTQ member, I definitely um, am looking for somebody to support me and um, a lot of my friends. Pew Research says Gen Z is the most progressive generation when it comes to social issues, but that doesn't mean they're voting for Democrats. The vast majority of Gen Z voters in Ohio are unaffiliated. Vera Fink just registered to vote and says Gen Z may care more about specific issues than the party label. I'm more of like an independent person, go by each individual thing. And like older generations, like boomers, Zoomers also care about the economy. But Zoe Griffith says that it's because of the unique hardships her generation has faced. Financial issues are like the determining factor of going to college. Other issues voters brought up were health care costs, environmental protections, and helping those facing poverty. I want to make sure that everyone in America has an equal fighting chance. So how can campaigns target this demographic? For Vice President President Kamala Harris, it's social media and sharing her ideology. And this could be working. A Harvard poll found that 64% of young voters say they're supporting Harris, while 32% are voting for former President Donald Trump. According to Gallup polling along gender lines, young women are more likely to identify as liberal. But Trump is still fighting for the youth vote. He's going on internet celebrity podcasts and video gaming channels, strongly catering towards men. But all the Gen Z voters we spoke to can agree on one thing. Young people have the power to change the country if they show up to vote. I think that Gen Z is a really engaged group of people. We're just looking to make our voices heard as much as we can. At Kent State University, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.